But first, a possible mass shooting foil. Police say a Frederick County teen accused of murdering a former classmate may have had much bigger plans in mind. WJZ is live tonight. Kelsey Kushner explaining how a missing persons case turned into a murder investigation, which led police to a stockpile of guns and explosives. Nicole Vick. Well, this all started, police say, when the family of Curtis Smith reported him missing. Police say they then found his body inside of a car left in an abandoned barn. And then, of course, police say their search then led them to uncover his killer's plans for a mass shooting. A disturbing discovery in a quiet neighborhood. It's shocking. 19 year old Josh Eckenrode is charged with first degree murder and a use of a firearm after police say he killed his former classmate, 19 year old Curtis Mason Smith. According to charging documents on Friday, the two met up, and that's when Eckenrode shot Smith in the head before leaving his body inside a car at an abandoned barn in North Frederick. Police found Smith's body on Sunday, just days after his family reported him missing. It's not something we're used to being around. Investigators say during during a search of Eckenrode's apartment and his mom's home, they uncovered what they believe to be plans of a mass shooting. They also found about 40 plus uh, weapons. Detectives say besides the guns, they found bomb making materials, two live explosives, a tactical vest, and a note addressed to his family, apologizing for, quote, having to go out this way. And those notes, you know, point to the fact that he was staging stuff, that he was thinking about how he was going to do this. Charging documents say police found a large red stain on the driveway of his mom's home and tests prove it was human blood. I went to the movies Friday before 1 o'clock. Got back around 4 a little bit and I just saw the boy posing the driveway down. Police also found blood soaked towels and stained clothes at the home. Neighbors are now in disbelief this all happened across the street. It is very disheartening and very concerning that uh, the individual lives that close to a neighborhood. Like this. Now, police say they have no reason to believe that the two were ever involved in planning a mass casualty shooting together. Police say the motive behind the murder is still under investigation. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Krishner for WJZ.